Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. In today's video, I want to share with you some ways to get inspired for creating things in art and design. As someone who creates things for a living, whether that's designing a hotel for a client or selling my artwork online and even making videos like this, I'm pretty much creating something every week. And just like you guys who are also creators, it can be really hard sometimes to find that inspiration to actually get the design process started. And we all know that hours, days, and even weeks can go by if we don't find the inspiration and no work gets done. Whether you're an artist, an interior designer, fashion designer, architect, or just anyone who needs creative ideas to get inspired, I really hope that this video is helpful for you. So let's jump into the video. If I think about how I actually find inspiration myself, one way that always works is if I actually step back from what I'm doing and just relax. I know, it sounds counterproductive, right? <laughs> but I find if you walk away and do something that you love or even just rest, you kind of take your mind off this whole, oh my god, I don't have any inspiration rhetoric. Just by simply getting your mind away from the problem, you're able to think about other things and also the problem kind of solves itself sometimes. For example, a lot of my video ideas and content ideas come from when I'm sitting in the bath. Very cliche. And I have no idea why that actually is, but honestly, it's just something that works for me. And also going back to this idea of resting, sometimes when we feel burnt out or have a lack of motivation, sometimes our mind and our body actually just needs a break. I really like this idea of solidly working for two hours, then walking away for a break and then coming back afterwards, rather than sitting at my desk for five hours, procrastinating and only work for two. My point is, just make sure that if you're feeling tired, overwhelmed or uninspired, sometimes you just need to walk away. So step away to get back into things, if that makes sense. Another thing that really inspires me creatively is by listening to music. I find that it really helps me to raise my vibes and it takes my mind off the creative block I'm having at the time. And sometimes even get inspired by lyrics and cover art. I don't really think I need to explain why music is good, but yeah, you get my point. One way I love finding inspiration for creativity is by going to different places and traveling. Yeah. This point really annoys me because I find that this is actually the biggest way I get my inspiration both as a designer and for my artwork. And of course, for ages, we have not been able to do that. And I'm really, really hoping at the end of this year, we will be able to. Here's hoping. Seriously though, I find by immersing myself in a new culture, talking to new people, and just taking in all of the atmosphere of a new place, it really inspires me. There's just so much to experience. And I really do think that travel expands the mind. I absolutely love this quote, which is, the world is a book and those who don't travel only read a page. Mind blown. And never let anyone tell you that going to a different country is not worth it or it's too expensive or whatever their excuse might be, because trust me, travel is an investment. And when you're exploring a new place, you're actually investing in yourself. And going hand in hand with that is nature. The world that surrounds us sure as hell has a lot of things that we can take inspiration from. You only have to watch one episode of Blue Planet to realise that. And geez, I'm not suggesting to go scuba diving in the Pacific or trek through the Amazon. Great if you can, but you know, you can find all this stuff online and in books. There is actually a term for getting inspiration from these kind of things from nature called biomimicry. And just by searching that term online, it could really be a good starting point for you. Or instead of going online, turn to books and especially look at the detailed botanical or biological diagrams as I find those are really fascinating. And speaking of books, I think that they can be great holders of inspiration too. Maybe you're someone who does a lot of fictional reading and in that case, it would be really good for expanding your imagination and creating vivid storytelling. Personally, the only reading I do is things on personal development, financial growth and spirituality, so I wouldn't really turn to those to get inspiration for creativity. So the books I do turn to to get inspiration for art and design are ones like these. I mean, I guess you could call them picture books, right? 
but basically the ones that I like are just ones that are very visual. If you're a creative person then these visual books are great ways to get inspiration from other creators. Aside from books there are of course movies and sometimes movies can be even more inspiring if they have strategic cinematography and set design. Recently we watched Promising Young Woman and the way that the atmosphere and costume design reflected the character's emotions, I just loved it. It was so cleverly thought out and I'm even thinking about doing a whole video on this topic but yeah definitely watch it if you haven't seen it. Movies can be great and you never know which one is going to spark that inspiration. And also watching movies is fun, so it's a great way to do that creative research. Now, although my next point has a lot to do with me and my profession, I really do think that anyone can get inspiration by looking at architecture. Like I said, of course researching architecture has a lot to do with interior design already, but there are some really interesting architectural features that could make your creative juices flow. Maybe it's just a simple building feature that interests you, the whole structural element or even the design style that it's home to. Nonetheless, architecture speaks for itself. Contrastingly, I also find a lot of inspiration from materials themselves. So I'll look into things like different textiles, pattern work, building materials, and even fashion garments. As designers and artists, we all fall under this umbrella of creativity, right? And I think that we can actually learn a lot from each other's professions and ultimately inspire each other. In fact, simply by talking to someone who is like-minded to you or who's in the creative field, you can usually find lots of new tips and ideas, also from a fresh new perspective, which is always good. I cannot even tell you how many times I've asked Laszlo for inspiration and ideas and vice versa, he asked me the same. We have a great way of bouncing ideas off of one another and obviously I kind of knew that otherwise we wouldn't be in business together. But I find that just by talking about my design ideas and my creative block, it really helps me to come up with a solution. I feel like I can't avoid talking about social media in this video, can I? No. More times than not, as designers and artists, we often retreat to social media to find inspiration. And there is, of course, method to that madness. Both Pinterest and Instagram are visual platforms, so instantly we're able to enjoy and feed our creativity with that information. And particularly, I like to type in obscure hashtags to find that inspiration. So if I were wanting to paint a piece about a bird, I wouldn't just type in bird, but maybe bird watercolor, Native American symbols, or something like that, so it's not so vague. I find that by being more specific on a social media platform, you can find that inspiration a lot easier. And I also get a lot of inspiration here on YouTube. There are so many designers and artists out there who are sharing their tips for free online. For example, if I'm feeling unmotivated and uninspired to create my artwork, I always watch Caro Aravello's channel here on YouTube because I find her to be such an inspiration, especially when it comes to creating pieces of art from the soul. I could go on for hours about amazing creators here on YouTube and what they do, but I think that you really have to find them yourself because each creator's work is completely different and we may not appreciate them in the same way from one another. But I think that YouTube is such a great creative community and it's also why we want to be part of it and create our own design tribe to inspire and help you guys out too. I hope that these tips really helped you out and I'd love to know what art and design projects you're up to at the moment and maybe I could even bounce some creative inspiration forward to you in the comments. If you're new to our channel, then I just want to say welcome. On this channel, we talk about interior design, architecture, illustration, content creation and graphic design and all that cool stuff in between so if any of that interests you make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one leave me a paintbrush emoji down below to let me know that you enjoy this video or learned something new and if you liked it then please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that you actually really do help our channel to grow and reach more people okay guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye